Hello and welcome to CareerEye.com. I am Nishant and in this video, I am going to cover SQL Server interview questions and answer. These are the most frequently asked questions in interview. So please stay tuned to the end of the video. Alright, so here we go with the first question. What is an index? An index is a database object which can be created on one or more columns. It minimizes the number of data comparisons and improves the performance of data retrieval. An index contains keys that are stored in the form of structure, which enables SQL Server to find the rows associated with the key values quickly. Indexes add some overhead on data modification like create, delete and modify. Although we can create indexes on multiple columns, but unnecessary indexes diminish the performance of query. What are clustered indexes and non-clustered indexes? Clustered index. A cluster index reorders the way records in the table are physically stored. Therefore, a table can have only one clustered index and the leaf nodes of a cluster index contain data pages. Non-clustered index. A non-cluster index is an index in which the logical order of the index does not match with the physical order of the rows. The leaf node of a non-cluster index contain index rows. A table can have more than one non-cluster index. An index of a book is a perfect example of non-cluster index. Explain the difference between truncate and delete command. Truncate a DDL command. Delete a DML command. Truncate logs the entire table. Whereas delete logs the rows to be deleted. Where clause cannot be used with truncate. We can use where clause with delete. Truncate is much faster. Truncate resets identity column, whereas delete doesn't. Truncate cannot activate a trigger. Delete can activate a trigger. Difference between a primary key and a unique key. Both these keys enforce uniqueness of the column on which they are defined. But there are few differences between these two. First, a primary key creates a cluster index on the column by default, whereas unique key creates a non-cluster index by default. Second, a primary key does not allow nulls, whereas unique key allows one null in a table. Third, we can have only one primary key in a table, whereas many unique keys are possible in a table. Explain the use of update statistic command. Update statistics updates the indexes on the table when there is a large processing of data. When a large amount of deletions, modifications or bulk copy happens, update statistics command is used to update the indexes to take the changes into account. All right, let's quickly discuss what is primary key. A primary key constraint is a unique identifier for a row within a database table. It is also used to enforce entity integrity. We can have only one primary key constraint for each table. What is unique key constraint? A unique key constraint is created so that no duplicate values are entered and thus enforces the uniqueness of the values in the columns. What is foreign key? A foreign key is a key used to link two tables together. 
a foreign key in one table points to a primary key in another table. They are used to enforce referential integrity that prevents any actions that would destroy links between tables with the corresponding data values. What is check constraint? A check constraint is used to enforce domain integrity, limiting the values that can be placed in a column. What is not null constraint? A not null constraint ensures that the column will not accept null values. Explain the advantages of using stored procedures. Point number one. A stored procedure reduces network traffic and provides improved performance. It can have multiple SQL statements but requires single call to the database. Point number two. SQL Server caches stored procedure execution plan in its memory and reuse for subsequent calls which helps reducing server overhead. Point number three. Stored procedures provide better security to your data. What is BCP? The bulk copy program BCP is a command line utility. Using BCP you can import or export large amount of data in and out of a database quickly and easily. What is an execution plan? An execution plan is a graphical or textual roadmap that shows the data retrieval methods for a stored procedure or any ad hoc query. It is a very useful tool for a developer to understand the performance characteristics of a query or a stored procedure. Alright, so what is SQL Profiler? SQL Profiler is a tool that provides a user interface to the SQL Trace utility. With SQL Profiler, you can capture and save data about each event of a file or a table for analysis. How exceptions can be handled in SQL Server? Exceptions are handled in SQL Server programming using try-catch statement, just the same as in the programming languages like C, C++, Java, etc. And here is the simple syntax of exception handling in SQL Server. What is a trigger? What are the types of triggers? A trigger is a special type of stored processor that fires automatically in response to DML and DDL events. Types of triggers are DML trigger and DDL trigger. A DML trigger executes in response to statements such as insert, update, and delete, and a TTL trigger executes in response to statements such as create, alter, and drop. Difference between a stored procedure and trigger. A trigger fires implicitly while a stored procedure fires explicitly. What is an identity column in a database table? An identity column is like an auto number field in Microsoft Access or a sequence in Oracle. Using identity column, you can make that column as auto incremental number or a surrogate key. Explain the difference between union and union all. Union combines a result set of two or more queries into a single result set. A union statement is like a select distinct on the result set. In union, the number of columns and sequence of columns must be same in all queries and the data types must be compatible. Union all. Union all is very similar to union except it includes duplicate rows in the result set. What is dynamic SQL? A dynamic SQL is a set of statements that are dynamically constructed and executed at runtime and they are not stored in the database. What is the use of set no count on and off statement in the stored procedure? 
When set no count is off, the count is returned which indicates the number of rows affected by a SQL statement. When set no count is on, no count will be returned and by default no count is set to off. When you want when you don't want to display the number of records affected, set it explicitly on. What is isNull function? isNull function checks whether a column value is null or not null. What is the difference between varchar and nvarchar types? Varchar and nvarchar are same except nvarchar can be used to store unicode characters for multiple languages. Regarding memory usage, nvarchar uses 2 bytes per character whereas varchar uses 1 byte per character. Explain the difference between get date and sys date time. Get date can give time precision till milliseconds whereas sys date time can give time precision till nanoseconds. What is SQL injection? SQL injection is one of the most common web hacking techniques to destroy a database. It is basically the placement of malicious code in a poorly designed application and then passed to the database via web page input. What is a view in the database? A view is a named query that combines data from multiple tables using adequate joins. A view displays only selected data. Views are very good for security purposes because they can encapsulate the name of the table. What is normalization? A normalization is the process of organizing data to minimize redundancy wherein the database is divided into tables and a relationship is defined among the tables. What is denormalization? Denormalization is the process of adding redundancy intentionally to optimize the performance of a database. What is the difference between a function and stored procedure? Point number one. A function must return a value, while a stored procedure may or may not return values. Point number two, a function can have input parameter, while a stored procedure can have both input and output parameter. Point number three, a function must take one mandatory input parameter, while a stored procedure has no such compulsion. A function does not support exception handling while exceptions can be handled by try catch block in stored procedure what is subquery a subquery is a sql query within a query a subquery is a select statement that is nested within a sql statement it executes independently in which it is nested and returns a result set. It can return a single row as an atomic value or multiple rows using in keyword. What is SQL Profiler? SQL Profiler is a graphical tool that captures and saves data about each event to a file to analyze them later. Using SQL Profiler, we can monitor the concerned events. But we should restrict to monitor few events because monitoring too many events cause the trace file or trace table to grow very large that adds overhead to the server. What are the authentication modes in SQL Server? SQL Server offers two ways for implementing how the system will authenticate users. Windows Authentication Mode and Mixed Authentication Mode. Windows Authentication Mode 
It requires user to provide a valid Windows username and password to access database server. If this mode is chosen, SQL Server disables SQL Server specific login functionality and the user's identity is confirmed solely through his Windows account. This mode is also called as integrated security. Mixed authentication mode. It allows the use of both Windows and SQL Server credential to authenticate. What is SQL Server Agent? SQL Server Agent is a service responsible to execute scheduled administrative tasks. These scheduled tasks are generally called as jobs in SQL Server. SQL Server Agent can run a job on a schedule in response to a specific event or on demand. For example, you can automate and schedule the task to backup company's server on every Monday. When the backup encounters a problem, SQL Server Agent can record the event and notify you. What is log shipping? A log shipping ensures automatic backup of database and transaction log files on a production server. It also restores them onto a standby server. This way the standby server has the same TV and can be used as the disaster recovery plan. What is the difference between a local and a global temporary table? A local temporary table exists only for the duration of a connection. And a global temporary table remains in the database permanently. But the data exists only within a given connection. When the connection is closed, the data in the global temporary table disappears. However, the table definition remains with the database for access when the database is open next time. With this, we have come to the end of the video. And if this video helps you, please like it and share with your friends. And also subscribe to our channel to stay updated. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.